Hello, everybody. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas. Uh, woke up this morning, seen an interesting news story, uh, and and uh, and I thought, wow, I just posted about that a few days ago on my Facebook. I'm going to show you, and I'm thinking maybe this is connected. Okay, and so here's the news story. This one's from News West 9, and I saw it on the news this morning. Midland Development Corporation Executive Director to step down. John Trichetti III has led the organization since 2019. Enterprise press release the mdc announced executive director stepping down etc 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 okay but like i was saying that i had just posted about the midland development court a few days ago and so that's what we're going to look at uh here's so here was my facebook post and basically the the header on it seventy two thousand dollar grant given to a person with information on multiple murders okay which is a reference in my house and that grant come from the Midland Development uh, Corporation okay and or uh, MDC and so anyways uh, basically what I was saying is a couple years ago there's a man here in Midland named Aaron Packelhofer that I didn't know he's a friend of a friend and on Facebook he asked me he says uh uh. I wish you luck and life and won't involve myself. I'm well aware of the many corruption accusations against the Midland Police Department. I'm not so sure it's a secret police scenario as much as it is pure criminal activity by the police, which is probably correct, and I think he probably knows that. But if I can ask, there were four people who were murdered, died in your house. What are their names? Okay, I, I, I've, I've had this for several years because, uh, you know, this is huge. Okay, he is telling me that four people were murdered, died on my house, and then he's asking me if I know their names, you know. He didn't say three, he didn't say six, he didn't say, he didn't say eight, he said four. Obviously, Aaron knows the four names of the people that were murdered, died in my house. Well, I don't know, you know. And then this goes on the conversation, and Lisa's talking to him, and why don't you take Buddy to a Mason meeting? She's making a point that he's, he's a Mason here in Midland. Okay, so anyway, this you know, questions been asked many times uh, on who are the four people that 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 Aaron was talking about. I've submitted his name to law enforcement. You know, on on the uh, suspected murders, multiple capital murders believed to be connected to this house. You know, obviously that's a huge clue. Obviously, he might have information. Okay, well then here just a couple of days ago, on April twenty seventh, and you know, in today's what May the fourth. Uh, on April 27th, I'm, I'm, you know, Googling this and I run across this story here, Eccentric Brewing Company. Okay. And, and I, f I see where Aaron Packelhofer, the guy that had asked me if I knew the names of the four people who died in my home, you know, was granted a $72,000 grant from the MDC. Okay. And that's what I'm saying. I woke up this morning, all of a sudden the executive director of the MDC stepped down and I'm going, I just posted about the MDC giving Aaron Packelhofer $72,000. And basically I, you know, I was asking the question, was that to buy his silence? You know, did that, it, you know, did he get this gift from the taxpayers? Cause I believe that's taxpayers money. All right. I think that, you know, they're not sticking money in their own pocket and giving it to uh, Aaron, you know, a grant where, where you don't have to pay it back. It's, it's a gift. Right. And I don't think they stuck it, you know, the hand in their pocket. I, I'm, and I don't know that, but that's what I'm thinking is is that's taxpayers' money. And so, anyways, that's the question. If uh, if you know here on this Facebook post, if Aaron, uh, I'm gonna click on this link. If if there was any kind of uh, you know agreement or or it was to buy, was it to buy his silence? And that's that's not saying that not an accusation. That's asking a question. See, there's a difference between asking a question and accusation. So, Eccentric Brewing got its start after winning a seventy-two thousand dollar grant awarded by the Midland Entrepreneurial Challenge, which is from the MDC. Its owners, Jamie Eel and Aaron Packhofer, soon began local operations in 2018. And that's where I saw that. And that's what created this Facebook post. Keep in mind on the date, April 27th. 
because then here the Midland Reporter Telegram on April 30th first reported. So three days after my Facebook post, this guy steps down from the MDC. And I'm wondering if that's connected. You know, did this guy have some kind of connection to that $72,000 grant to Aaron and that the person that told me about the four people that had been murdered died in my house? Okay, so you can see. And in the stories, actually, I put a post on my original post here of the board of directors for the MDC, okay? And and here they were right there. Wesley Bounds was the chairman, and I think he's the one that announced it, you know, uh, that that uh, Trishitti was stepping down, you know. Here's some of these others. I think he was on my Facebook, so he definitely knows, you know, my story. And uh, I figure all these people know about the underground homes and, and, and the story that's going on here in Midland. And, I mean, it just makes sense. It's a huge story, million-dollar underground home, so... Anyways, um, that's kind of, that's why I shared this this morning on my Facebook. I just posted about the MDC a few days ago after I noticed Aaron had got a $72,000 grant. So just a question, but it's very interesting. Maybe things are happening, right? Uh, you know, and it, wouldn't that be amazing? Somebody stepped down from the Midland Development Court because of my Facebook post. And, you know, and it was connected to Aaron Packerholfer knowing about the four people that were murdered, died in my home. I, I mean, I'm not surprised at all that the press doesn't tell you that. You know, that's what they've been hiding from the public. It's Buddy Midland, Texas.